Okay guys, today on North of Seven Outdoors, I'm going to teach you how to install a Helix 7 Hummingbird into the bow mount. Uh, yeah, so if this video ever makes YouTube, then we know that somehow I did it half-assed correctly. So, let's begin. As you can see, I'm taking out the old uh, fish finder here that was bow mounted. Never really worked right. I got a great deal on the Helix 7. So we're going to install it. Okay guys, so here's something I just discovered. I was going to tape this to this using electrical tape. Tape it really well because I have no idea what comes out under that hole. And I was just going to drag this from the back of the boat here. Which somewhere in there is cord. I'm not really sure where the hell that goes. No, I think about it, but somewhere. Anyways, I was going to pull it from back here and the new piece that had been taped so that uh, I would have been able to thread it using the old one. But now that I'm closer at it, I see that, uh, that these two look identical. Got that little thing on the side there. Was that one? This one looks a lot newer, but uh, I think I'm just going to try and plug in the old cord and see what happens. Okay, guys. So we decided to use the old cord, but if you didn't have an old cord, I imagine if you just taped the newer part, uh, it would be these two wires to the front of the old part, and then just dragged back. Well, you would be taking these two pieces with the original. Uh, now if you didn't have anything, like that would work if you're going from like Lorance to Hummingbird or vice versa, uh, but I have the exact same cord so I'm not going to change it out. Uh, so this has got a little groove here, so that's going to hide the gap there, and then it looks like it's been siliconed before, so I'm going to re-silicone it, but first I'm going to make sure that I scrape all this out so I can have a smooth as contact as I can while I try and hide all the blemishes that are here but I mean it's a boat you're gonna get your wear and tear. Okay guys I got most of the silicone pieces off there. Uh, it doesn't I don't think it has to be perfect because I'm just gonna re-silicone it when I'm done and make sure that the unit is working correctly. So uh, yeah like I think that's good enough. I mean I'm just gonna go around and silicone it afterwards to keep the water out so See how that goes. So now I'm going to install the old mount. I'm going to try and cover up as much as I can. As you can see, the mounts are pretty different here with the Hummingbird 7 here. Whatever the hell this was. It's some old Hummingbird 400TX or something. Okay, guys. Fun fact for the day. When you're drilling into aluminum, always drill a pilot hole. Or you'll break your screws that came with it. Um, so it looks like I've got this in there pretty well. Finish off drilling these two. Now they've got the pilot holes dug. So uh, I guess I'm going to mount the Helix 7. Uh, put this in there and see. Now the next thing I'm wondering about is I've got this cord. And I've got the new cord. They have different prongs. This one has a lot less, but if I look at them, this one has the same three that this one has, and then this one just has two more. Uh, I'll see if it works, but I think I'm going to replace this one anyways, because I think that the guy that had this boat before me uh, was pretty hard on them. So... Yeah, I don't, I mean, a few zip ties and then uh, bracketing your transducer to your trolling motor is not really a big deal, so we'll go from there.
Okay guys, we're back. Um, the guy getting Timmy's on his lawnmower was supposed to symbolize a two week waiting period while I waited for the MKR15 Minn Kota bracket mount to a bow mount trolling motor. Honestly, uh, I got it because I was like, hey, it's going on a Minn Kota motor. I've never installed a transducer to one. Uh, so what the hell, it's $25. Um, honestly, I probably could have gotten what I wanted for $15 at the hardware store and you wouldn't have had to wait. But that's fine, it's still April and I've got ice on the boat cover still. So, you know, here's what I'm taking off here. Obviously, this fiberglass junk here is probably not the right way to do things uh, but I mean I don't think it's gonna take a whole lot of uh, common sense here to jerry-rig something yourself a little bit more efficient than a chunk of wood here and a bunch of zip ties and fiberglass so here we go okay so now it's mounted on there uh, it's got the skag to protect it. Um, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I threaded the little wire the wrong way. Obviously, you want this away from the propeller, so I'm going to be fixing that. Uh, while we're on the subject here, I mean, some people just use zip ties themselves. It just depends on what you want to do with, uh, with your transducer. Would I buy the MKR bracket again? Mm, I do like this little frame here, to be honest with you. But I mean, I really, I could jerry-rig something for half the price. So I mean, if you happen to be on the water and you break it off somehow, uh, and you need it the next day, I mean, I'm sure within two hours you could probably jerry-rig something that's going to last you a long time. Okay guys, well we're back with uh, tie straps now. So as you can see I've just run it from the transducer up the frame, shaft of the trolling motor. Just uh, don't be too tight with the shaft. Uh, there's going to be some moving parts there so I mean give it some slack here. But now I'm just running it down the cord here to the trolling motor foot pedal. As you can see, you can see the outline here and here. I'm just cutting off where the old transducer cord went and just putting new tie straps down with the uh, new wire here. So we're moving along nice here. Should be done shortly. Okay, so you guys are gonna put all the tie straps on down the cords to the foot pedal here. Now you're gonna have a lot of extra cord left over here. Obviously you don't wanna be tripping over that. So we're just gonna bundle it up with this, put a few tie straps on, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so I've got that all tidied up there just so I can get out of the way of the up and down of the trim and the lights. I don't wanna accidentally Put the lights on and drain the battery. So the last step is pretty much just to cut all these off and make it look a little nicer here. Okay guys, so we're back. Uh, time to finish this video off. It's been about a month, uh, intermittently. I've either forgotten stuff or I found a problem. So anyway, so I installed this uh, last time and I uh, hit the power button, nothing happened. Uh, turns out I had some bad fuses and whatnot, but you know, uh, everything 
worked out okay. So this video was, if I haven't mentioned this, keep in mind it's been a month filming this, so uh, if I haven't mentioned this, this isn't supposed to be one of those, oh this is the way you're, you gotta do it or you're a Nazi, this is just, if I can do it, anyone can do it, so let's see here, oh look at that, beautiful. Hummingbird, bam. So we're all set. That was easy. Easy peasy. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Again, I mean, literally, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I barely pump my own gas. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos, primarily fishing videos. I'm a much better fisherman than I am a marine mechanic. But thank you again for watching, and take care.